What I felt was right. Seven minutes after 11. Is a maroon chief, Curry, in trouble? Yes. We saw emerging on social media over the weekend a post purporting to come from their compound maroons saying that the chief, Richard Curry, had been removed as leader of their compound maroons. However, Chief Curry also took to social media soon after that post to dismiss the claims about him being removed. In his social media post, Chief Curry asked that the public be guided by the lawfully ratified constitution of the Akampong Maroons. He says the attempt made to oust him was not done according to the Constitution. Well, we have invited Chief Curry. We tried to get Chief Curry. We, we weren't able to reach him. But we have with us the chairman of the Akampong Maroon Security Council, Ferran Williams, and the chairman of the Akampong Maroons Board of Elders. Is it Murdy Rowe? Good morning. Meridy. Meridy Rowe. And uh, Mr. Williams, are you there? Yes, I am very much here, sir. Good. Let me begin with you, Mr. Rowe. Tell me, what's the role of the Kampong Maroons Board of Elders? Is that the authority, the body, who could remove or who can or who has the authority to remove a chief? Absolutely. You have said it proper and rightly. Oh, so has the board removed Chief Curry? Well, document has been sent to him about the, the impeachment and what have you, and it is not unusual. Previous colonel has been removed in a similar way, albeit um, orally over, over the years, because of inefficiency, incompetence, um, you know, lack of accountability, nepotism, all of those stuff. So, why was Chief Curry impeached? Well, a number of a number of things happened over time, particularly sincere and the media generally have some of those information because um you have you have people like um you know that was get get some stab and gone, but it was the evidence was visible. It was reported. To the police for action. You have um, threats leveled at other people and they have been reported. And um, the police has a mixed view because based on you know, some of the guys in the community that allegedly got guns, um, people are intimidated by them and fearful. Very fearful. You mean because what? they have they become real target. They have locked the gate at the hill foot the other day and that no maroon or anybody with like with firearm cannot enter the community. They have to leave it at Magati. And that to me include police or any maroon have a license firearm. Because if you are not supportive of certain things then you then you then you're a target. You're you know, if you're not if you're not um on Curry's side then then everybody is seen as common enemy. Hold on. I was quick to say that we are preparing a draw for the Commission of Police because um, there's a recent arson committee in the community and my position of property. I got that, that last night the, the police came and they arrested the man, drove down the road and while the police Make a phone call to whoever, and we suspect who, and then they'll release the guy. There's evidence of the arson and malicious destruction of property. So we have a serious concern, and um, we have the Deputy Commissioner of Crime has come to the community already, and those people level threat at Bozra. Bozra is the person who, who posts on Facebook actually weekly, and is critical of the administration. <laughs> And so forth, and um, then the the eventual title it they they go take him at his place of board, slap him up, 
in get injured and release. So prior to that threat was made and the police is aware. Hold on. So I'm sure that if, if Deputy Hold Commissioner Crime and others are contacted, they will be they will be able to endorse it that they are aware of it. Hold on for me, Mr. Rowe. You said a draft is being prepared for the commissioner to be sent to the co a draft of what? Of of or a request <coughs> a request for for adequate security as also to inform him of the document of impeachment that was sent. That and the hold on, Mr. Rowe, Mr. Rowe, Mr. Rowe. Let me, let me, let, let me try and ask the question and you answer for me, so we get mm. this thing clear. Yes, you say a draft of the impeachment of Curry has been completed and sent to who or what? It went viral, you know. It went to, it went to um, even some politician got a copy of it too. Mm. Yeah, but I'm trying to establish, based on your rules, the Board of Elders' rules, mm -hmm. yes, and policies in a compound, con in, in a compound, yes? You draft the impeachment. Did you have a hearing? What is the process? A draft was, a draft was sent to the colonel of, of, the, of the intention of the, of the Board of Elders. Meaning Curry? It was yes. sent to Curry? Mm -hmm. When was it sent to Curry? And, um, when was it sent to Curry? When? Just a few days ago. A few days ago. Yes, right. I, and, so, um, so based on your process of the Maroons, yes? At what what must happen next for it to be effective? Well if if he if he, if he, if, he, if he doesn't respond appropriately. The board will will um will have another release to be made to inform the the Maroons and the wider Jamaican community of the steps being taken and the actions and so forth. So right now he's still the chief of the Maroons of a compound. Well, the impeachment is 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 tantamount to a vote of no confidence now. So so yes, I get that. that. I get that, but you're saying that based on your rules and procedures, he has been formally sent the impeachment document, and yes. he has been given how how long does he have to respond to defend himself? We had a week to respond. So a week has passed. A week no, it's a week no. A week today. Yeah, a week. And if he doesn't respond by the end of the day. What happens? The board of elders will flex their muscle administratively. Administratively. And do what? Have well we intend to send another draft to the wider public to let to let them know that the board is in charge and that body is the official agency to deal with issues emanating out of the Maroon community. And if he refuses to go what powers do you have to enforce the impeachment? Well, we, 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 we are, where well, the document is, and that many didn't prepare now, is that ask for the police assistant to be firm in their resolute to take effective action because those, those guys have gone and the community don't have guns. Which guys and have guns? Very fearful. Which guys have guns? Some other guys that are associated with, with Colonel Curry. Some oh. guys. Oh. It was played out already previously on your team. Yes, yes, I, I, yes, and yes. And mm -hmm. and, and yes. So, so let me bring in the chairman of the, the Maroon Security Council, Farron Williams. Uh, after the break, I bring in Mr. Williams. Hold the line for us, Mr. Rowe. My hand hands were steady. There is trouble in Maroon country of a compound in St. Elizabeth. The chairman of the Kampong Maroons Board of Elders, Meredy Rowe, has told us that the current colonel of the Kampong Maroons, Curry, Richard Curry, has been impeached. He has been notified today one week that they have no confidence in him to continue as Maroon chief. 
Mr. Rowe is with me, as well as the Chairman of the Akampong Maroon Security Council, Farron Williams. Good morning, Mr. Williams. Welcome. Good morning, sir. Um, good morning to your wider listeners. I know you have a wide listeners. Thank um, you. Sad, sad to say, but once the most peaceful place on planet Earth, a kampong, is now one of the worst places that one would want to go. In fact, we have citizens who are trying to leave because of the anarchy which is taking place, or which has taken place over the last 20 months in a kampong. If one speak out for any reason whatsoever, they are either gun butt, stab, beaten, or generally threatened with physical harm and death. I myself is a victim, and all my relatives are victims of such a threat. And this is coming from, um, I will not say Chief Curry, because I did not go. He was not entered into a chief race, the Colonel Curry. However, Mr. Curry believed that the place that he was born, Bethlehem, was mistakenly Bethlehem. And some people in a compound, a minority, figure Bet Salem, they make it mistake and say Bethlehem. So he is Jesus Christ Almighty. Um, as such, if you talk out for your right in your tongue, as Mr. Rowe rightly say, you are beaten, threatened, run but are, you know, uh, terrorized in so many ways. You said, that, you said that has been happening for the last 20 months. It, yes, yes, sir. From, in fact, before the last 20 months, because the election should have taken place before. However, because of the COVID, mm -hmm. it was pushed back. And Richard Curry was the only candidate that ever, when I say ever, have a campaign. That was Richard Curry. I personally have not gone into the community center for a period of two and a half years or thereabout. In fact, the truth be told, Mr. Hughes... And I hope you have been telling me everything that is truthful. This is what I am doing. Um, from 2019, Richard, his auntie, and a group, a minority group, has taken over this community center. They call themselves Full Maroon Council. I've been trying to get names from the Full Maroon Council from 2019, and I am unable to do so now. However, the Board of Elders form, and as per usual, you must release the names of these people. And Richard Curry and his goons are up in the compound now, going around threatening people whose name appear. He was on his social media page last night calling out names. I have a nephew who is a policeman and he is trembling now, Mr. Hughes, because his name appeared on it. He called me and he texted me and to prove if anything I could can send you the text. But why would he be trembling? Mm -hmm. Why would he be trembling? He's afraid of these goons because he is saying that, you know, 
uh, they usually walk in group because it's up so mr uh, williams five, so mr williams sir, mr williams yes sir, yes, sir. I'm as looking. far as i'm aware a compound maroon country is in the sovereign state of jamaica where we have that, that is true. That is true. where we have a jamaica constabulary force as a premier law enforcement agency in the country if people as you would like us to believe are being intimidated and threatened by goons associated with the chief yes why have you all not reported it to the police given the police statements so that the police have a basis on which to act sir yes sir yes sir persons have done that persons have done that i have done that however i must tell you that you know um especially when it comes to threat you would have to follow up by going to the post office to purchase stamp and then go back to the police station to take out summonses more in most cases summonses court so court and then go to court a couple of times mm -hmm. now persons i can assure you that um some persons especially those in a compound you treat me <laughs> i report it to the police but if you walk too close to me next time me and your knife me you and me knife are going to meet or you and me machete are going to meet mm. that is most times why you find it is being reported but not followed up sir oh and and a couple days ago they threatened two young men and it was reported the police went to one but you know um maroon we you are very fast if we ever settle down and decide to run Shillian and Usain Bolt might have to ask us a few questions. Anyway, mm -hmm. I am simple here to say that what is happening in the kampong is um, over my years, I never knew that something like this could be happening, sir. Mm -hmm. I get a couple of calls from money I've been getting calls because Mr. Curry read out the names of the board of elders and the security personnel on his live mm -hmm. and people are trembling. So one man called me and said, listen, Mr. Williams, you are an ex-policeman now what is going to happen when me alone i go on the bush mm. and then boy they decide what is going to happen so let me ask you mm. therefore mr williams and no yes, mr Rowe. let me bring back in the board of elders chairman yes, sir. yes? mr Rowe. yes sir how many members do you have on the board of elders we have some 30 30 I have a 38, something like that. 35 to 38. Mm -hmm. And how many were in attendance when you made the decision to impeach Colonel Curry or Chief Curry? Well, we, we, we have virtual meetings on WhatsApp groups you now. Yes. So it, this was invariable that way because... because uh, it So you had a quorum? quorum? Let me get to straight to... Yes, 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 yes. More than a quorum. You had a quorum. And what was the vote to impeach Curry? Unanimous. Unanimous? Unanimous. Oh. We can't take it no longer. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. It's too much. And uh, fear and panic ripping the country. So we are wondering if this is Russia. 
at Belarus are Burmese. Because if you if you're critical of the leader, you know what next. Oh. That's what he's playing out in our campong right now. Mr. Hughes. That's what he's playing out. We don't have a police force ourselves, we don't have a judicial system and what have you. Mm -hmm. These are crimes have been committed. The police in Jamaica must act, must act. This this board is giving them full authority to act on crimes committed, indicted offenses. Mm -hmm. We are giving full authority to the so that is one of the things that we are going to send to the commissioner, a copy to the national security minister and, and elsewhere. Mm. We cannot continue, Mr. Hughes. Anarchy. Somebody needs to be put behind the bars and try in the Jamaican court. Mm. And the court final, if court decision must be final. Wow. People are favor, Mr. Hughes. About how many people live in a, a compound? Well, I would say about six, seven hundred, something that reason. Six hundred, seven hundred. Yes. Well, well, we... we so if... We, we have another we, issue, sir. We have another issue. What is that? Is that we understand that a certain police at Magate is connected to Curry. Connected to We heard it a number of times. And what transpired last night, when they eventually pick up, pick up this guy for the arsenal, Major destruction property, and they drove away to a short distance. The police make a phone call, and then next thing they release the guy. We are really able to suspect who they might have made the call to. So, um, when I was colonel in the 1990s, um, I I had to make formal report to the then commissioner of police, Mr. Ron McMillan, and he cleaned out my station. He cleaned it out. Because the superintendent then was acting on behalf of him, some of the guys who involved not drugs running and what have you and what have you. And we couldn't get no option. But thank God to Colonel Sir Macmillan, he cleaned out the whole of them. And then I was a cop them time there. And then the, the argument in the parish is that this colonel was a police, I'm a fight against police. But I fight against corruption and slackness. Mm. But it's it, 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 it more serious now. Because them time, eh, no unruly guys never have any gun in the community. No, it is there. So we will be giving the police full mandate for every indicted offenses they must act forth with. Those who are conspirators, those who even admit it, those who are accessory after the fact and before the fact, they must be dealt with, Mr. Youth, because if, if, if a kampong destroyed, then it will it affect Jamaica. It affects Jamaica, sir. Because so the media... You're a national radio. Them. You're a national radio. Mm -hmm. And you are the chairman of the Maroons Board of Elders. Mm -hmm. Right? And you are now making a public call for the constabular force and the commissioner to intervene now into what's happening and restore law and order in a compound. Mm -hmm. That's what you're saying? Absolutely, sir. And it's possible to camp out up here. Camp for some period. It's possible. And why are you calling for that? Let us get it on the because record. Because the decent citizens cannot defend themselves. They don't have no weapon to defend themselves. They have no weapon. And when you and say they are goons, when you say they are goons up there armed with guns, approximately how many people are you talking about? Well, well, our original count is seven guns were distributed up there. Oh. Seven. What kind of gun? Well, you can't fire a shot and kill me or you or anybody, sir. Me no, but <laughs> what kind of gun? Uh, uh, nine millimeter and 38 I understand. Oh. Because people see a few of them with, with it again already. Oh. So those names were given to the police. Mm-hmm. Yes, wow. but um, if the police take the view that because of it, the, 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 the situation with the Maroon as unique, a unique community, then this, this board of elders is giving them full backing and every legitimate action taken by them, the board is prepared to back the police 101%. I get you, sir. I get they it. have to have some of the government officials are aware of what is happening now. Some of them, 
are aware. Oh. Well, so they, they, they are hoping that we, the board now will, as a legitimate body, will make that request, both oral and formally. Okay. So we need them in the community like yesterday. I hear you, Mr. Rowe and Mr. Williams. I want to say to Chief Curry, we have my producer, Nurege Banton, has been trying, has been calling your number constantly since morning. <laughs> we, we, <laughs> we, you, we, you are free. Yeah, you are free. So. Just a moment. You are free, Chief Curry, to call us here at Nationwide. Yes, 876-630-937124 or 618-8255 because we'd love to hear from your perspective what is happening in the community. To the point where Mary De Rowe, your chairman of the Board of Elders, is calling on the constabulary force to intervene immediately to restore law and order there. Mr. Williams, you wanted to have the final word? Yes, sir. Uh, don't forget, Mr. Hughes. Um, some, maybe about a year ago or so on, your team, I don't know if you forgot. No. We're trying to go to a kampong. And they were turned back. Anybody, any news team who is not in favor of Richard Curry cannot have um, an interview or anything in the community. They cannot. If more than one time persons turn, were turned back. Mm -hmm. All and all, Curry want to, is once you are a curry person, you can come. If not, you cannot. Even Maroon, Bang and Grow, who work with, let me, I don't want to call, the, you know, the people or whatever. But we're turned back. Mm -hmm. Because Mr. Curry said he don't want them. Oh, you hold on for me. You hold on for me. I gather Richard Curry is on. Mr. Curry. Chief Curry. Good morning, good morning, Chris. Good morning, listeners um, and others assigned. So I thank you. I, I was actually listening to you on my phone, so I wasn't recognizing someone was calling. So my apologies. Just when you said it just now, I decided to call back the number. Yes, we have been trying yes. to reach you because in these matters, there are two, three sides to every story. I don't yes. know if you heard from Mr. Williams and Mr. Rowe, but let me tell you, they have accused you of having goons, people, yes. men with guns, 9 millimeter guns in the community, intimidating people, gun-butting people, stabbing people, if they were ever to speak out against your tenure as chief of their Kampong Maroons. They have also said they have met and unanimously agreed to impeach you as chief of the Kampong Maroons. They sent you that document a week ago, you have upon to today to respond. I don't know if you have responded. And they've also gone further. They've called on the Commissioner of Police and the JCF to intervene immediately to restore law and order in a compound maroons. What the Dickens is happening under your watch, Curry? Thank you. Thank you so much for having me and thank you for the opportunity to speak. Now, first of all, let me, let me outline clearly and explicitly that the entities, the general council and this council of elders to which Mr. Rowe speaks of, none of them are constituted within the constitution that was ratified. I'm talking the 2004 constitution that was recently amended and ratified in March 2022. Now, first and foremost, Mr. Hughes, as you know, the Maroons go by tradition and culture. We installed this constitution. Mr. Rowe was the one who actually initiated this process, if I'm to understand clearly from 19. I did not. Right. Well, if you did not, sir, your work and contribution would have been appreciated nonetheless. The fact is, we now have an, an, a constitution. The Article 1, Section 2 states the full Maroon Council. It says, the full Maroon Council shall choose their speaker and other officers and shall have the full power of removal or impeachment of the chief, deputy chief, or any council member. The executive council shall meet once per month and no less than 10 times per calendar year as required by this constitution. It goes on to say, in the event of impeachment or removal of the chief, the deputy chief, and any of the council members, they will be tried by the executive council. 
the findings of the executive council brought to the full maroon council for review and if the individual is guilty a meeting of the full council will be called with the maroon citizens of the sovereign state of a compound to reveal the findings a vote will be taken by ballots for the removal of the impeachment of the chief deputy chief or any council members now mr williams and mr 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 Rowe are ca were candidates 18 months ago in the election against me since taking office mr hughes the um, listen i i also captured a lot of um information mr Rowe himself provided not only to not only um regarding the elections but regarding ferran and his operations as chief which i would have posted on social media this morning please pay attention to that but i take it back these two were candidates who did not who did not succeed at the ballot since then they have been on the radio every single week on some other business other than empowering uniting and providing a path of development for the maroon between them they would have had over 30 years of experience within the maroon council and governance and all i got from mr williams in my handing over was one bank book two expired contracts and a set of bus keys which I had to call Minister Grange for him to release of them. Now listen to this. I went on an audit and I found three additional accounts. We're going to the root of the issues here, Mr. Williams. Before I address those libelous claims, Mr. Rowe, which I, Mr. Rowe, you have been warned already about the libelous claims you've, had, you've gone on public here and spewed. And you have defamated not only myself, but the good people of our compound and others who are around me. Now, in my audit, Mr. Hughes, I found a bank account that wasn't disclosed to the community, nor myself. Through that account between 2017 and 2019, one million U.S. dollars moved through the state, and no one knew where this money went. Oh. Mr. Williams and Mr. Timothy McPherson were the only two signatories on this account, and this account was under the name of a Compound Development Foundation. Mr. Williams had been summoned on several occasions to come and answer to some of these questions that are long-standing because the building that was built here in the community as a town hall to be used as the offices of the chief and his administration mm -hmm. was now being claimed by Mr. Williams as his personal property. Now, this even engrossed the people that much more because they've been hurting from 11 years of leadership to which Mr. Williams so-called said he cared for these people. He did not sleep two nights in the community in these 11 years. He did not have 10 meetings in these 11 years, right? I've had 18 meetings in 18 months. Everyone in this community is knowing what is happening. I've had to go through the mud. I've had to be dragged in the dirt. I've been requesting dialogue from all angles, including the police. Who I do have a very good relationship, by the way, Mr. Williams and Mr. Rowe, because uh. you maintain law and order in a way perhaps you would not have considered. Nonetheless, all we've been asking for is a formalization of these agreements and arrangements. All right. Now, my stance has been quite different from Sir Rowe, Rowe and um, Williams. I dare you to step into a compound to a town hall meeting, I will convene it myself with mediators present. I invite down a parchment down. We have our mediator trained Justice Leroy Gray. I invite you guys, please, we need closure. And you need to stop the nonsense that you are spewing all over the international media. The nonsense must end. You are big men, act like it and stop behaving like children. Your, your hands are caught in the pot. And you need, no, need to now release it. Release uh, it. All right. And do dignity. Oh. Hold it. Hold it there from Mr. Curry. Mr. Williams, you have yes, a, you had an account that you didn't turn over. You hid with a, a yes. million US dollars passing through it? No, sir. I am yet to see that account. I hear about it. I have heard Richard Curry spewing this all over in fuck. I do I would not want to go further because my lawyer is looking outside from, you know, sometimes he jogs his feet um, from over a year now. I can assure you that National Commercial Bank, Richard Curry, and uh, Goodly Dr. Lady, 
is being sued by me for uh, malicious, well, you know, as I say, it will be going to the court. Mm -hmm. So I don't want to go there. Richard Curry cannot in no way show a document that I have ever even signed with your money or deposit money mm -hmm. in this so-called account that he fictitiously, mm -hmm. fictitiously stayed in. Number one, I have gone to, when I first knew about this, I went to the bank and I was told, Mr. Williams, all these are garbage. This is garbage. You have no we are here, we see you as a signature, and we cannot even give you oh. a printout. All right. Hold we can't even give you a mm -hmm. printout. Mm -hmm. um, Mr. Oh, Williams, okay. Okay. Hold it um, for me. Hold it for me. We are up on a break. Let me go to the break and come back. Hold the okay. line, gentlemen. My hands were steady. My eyes were clear and bright. We are learning about the problems in their Kampong Maroons from Chairman of their Kampong Maroons Board of Elders, Meredy Rowe, Chairman of the Maroon Security Council, Farron Williams, and the current Kampong Maroon Chief, Richard Curry. Gentlemen, before the break, M M Mr. Curry? Mr. Curry? Mr. Curry? Have we lost him? Oh dear. <laughs> Mr. Curry? <laughs> Mr. Curry? Mr. Rowe? Yes, sir. You heard uh, Mr. Curry there saying that the two of you, you and, M and Mr. Williams, were defeated. You are no... L oh, Curry's back. I wanted to put to Mr. Curry. Mr. Curry? Yes. In the limited time we have, there were some specific allegations made by Mr. Williams and Mr. Rowe that I want you to respond to. They said, since you took over, there's been an, a, a climate of fear and intimidation. People who speak out against you are intimidated, sometimes stabbed, physically assaulted, and that they are your goons, and that these goons are armed with guns. And I, Is and that I so, sir? Them, and I say to them, please, Please to bring this evidence to the floor. And as I said, the relationship with the law enforcement is great. And they have their, they have my number, the DSP, the Soup, the Sarge, Black River, Magati, Silo, Balaclava. They all have my number. We have been in contact within the last two weeks, more than once, my brother. So what happened and last night? Too. What happened last night with uh, an act? According to it, it was Mr. Rowe who said an act of malicious destruction of property. And when the police came, a call was made to someone. Was that person you, who the police called, having taken up someone and then released them last evening? Absolutely not. This is all the ridicule and the nonsense that they keep spewing into the media because it's serving their objective. The fact is, the reason the police actually came here yesterday was upon a call that I made with the Sarge, and I spoke to him about an incident that took place that would require their assistance, right? We spoke yesterday morning. I was actually there on site waiting for them to arrive. They what, was arrive in what was that incident? What was that What was that incident? There was a fire in a, there was a fire in a compound, right? And a house was destroyed. Deliberately so, a, the, an act of arson or what? No, that is it. it. There's no telling what really took place because the, the, the fire truck came, they owned the fire, and we awaited the, the police to come. And usually there is a fire investigator which would conduct, um, the, would assist with, the, you know, conducting the professional um, um, reconnaissance mission. Mm -hmm. You know, so that would have had to come before anyone could determine what really took place. But so what about, what about the allegation, though, that a lot the allegation of guns, a guns and the climate of fear in the community? Yes. The fear that the community has right now is with Mr. Williams and Mr. Rowe, who are both, both former police officers, utilizing their former prowesses and connections 
to intimidate and drive fear into the people. If you go to my social media, Instagram, this morning, I would have posted a video of Mr. Murderer himself two years ago saying these same things. Ferran using the police to intimidate the people. Ferran is a criminal. Ferran cannot be trusted. It's their people. It is not me. He said it just two years ago. Mr. Mr. Murder Row had a case in court against Mr. Williams. Now, how could these two staunch enemies just get up tomorrow and be friends and aligned at this one common cause at ousting one person who has come here? Young, free mind, not, 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 not in the influence manner that we would have found mu much of our leadership in the past. We're now being chastised and being incriminated with all sorts of fast accusations, brother. These, yes, you know, I'm, these, guns I'm the are, sir, these guns that are said to be in a compound, yes? Yeah. Are they yeah. licensed to firearms, Chief Curry? If you, if you would have noticed, Cliff, just the other day there was an incident to which my name was published about um, being out of terms in terms of renewal for said licenses, etc. for firearms. Right? I would have then turned up to the SLA, presented them with my, with my arms. Right? To date, I still have not heard anything, and I know the investigation would have been concluded. Now, we leave that alone, because the fact is, depriving me of my arms is not protection. It's not, it's, I did not rely on only arms for protection. Right? My protection is from above. It's anointed. It's so you, 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 you are now the carrier of an unlicensed firearm, Mr. Curry? <laughs> did, did you hear me say that? I'm asking, I'm asking, I'm asking. I do no, no, I don't. Are you the carrier of a weapon? As, as, as in a gun? No, I am not, my brother. And none of the persons around me. And I would, again, implore for those who have made those comments on national radio just now. Mm -hmm. Remember, this is recorded. And Mr. Williams, you would have also made some statements in denial just now, which, again, would have been recorded. My brother... <sighs> I wish you well in your, in your motions moving forward. I am here in representation of the people that elected me, not the 30, 40 persons who you would have... So let me give them a chance to respond. Yes. Mr. Williams. Yes, let me just finish. Let me just finish yes, sir. That um, had first, Mr. Um, Mr. Um, had something about a list. Oh, right? The yes. list that I read yesterday would have been the list of names that were on the circular that was passed around to myself, persons in the media, so this is not me creating a list, everyone. This is the information that was being passed out. I merely responded in, in, in commenting on who these individuals were. And many of them, by the way, Cliff, have mm -hmm. since reached out to me. So just to let you know. Okay. Mr. Williams, you heard Chief you, Curry there. I heard Mr. Curry. But let me tell you something, Mr. Hughes, and the wider public on a whole. Curry, he lied Monday to Saturday, and on a Sunday, he double lied. We are talking about Richard Curry. Richard Curry, I'm saying, lie on a rule from Monday to Saturday, and Sunday, he double lied. First, I would want to ask Mr. Curry, the full Maroon Council, how does one get a list of that because he's talking about full maroon council full maroon council number one from curry go in he said the constitution is non and void and he's writing a constitution which he did mr hughes which he did and post it all over the community when i would want to have mr curry tell the public whether or not he was a part of my cabinet, whether or not. Okay. Answer that um, quickly. I I was never a part of your administration, Mr. Williams. And looking back, I'm actually pleased I was not a part of it. Right? Okay. So okay. I, I uh, all right. Okay. Started, okay, sir. You. No, okay. I'm, I'm not. I'm not gonna back and forth. I'm just gonna make a statement here, with regards to the full council, Mr. Rowe, Mr. Mr. Williams. You yourself have not honored your office while you were there. There were issues that are still pending. There are many answers. Mr. 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 Hughes, I asked, I asked, I asked, Mr. Colonel. Yes, Mr. Hold on, Colonel. Hold on. Yes, Mr. Williams. 
yeah. I asked the colonel a simple question. How's, how does one go about getting the list of a full maroon council, which he's speaking about? Number one. And number two... Of the council and the executive yeah. body are posted on the yeah. website. Yeah. Yeah. And and if he were, were paying call everybody hold, hold on Mr. Curry just allow him to finish and then I give you the last word yes okay. Mr. Williams wrap up for me I am saying that Richard Curry make it public that he is writing over the constitution himself and that the 2004 constitution is no longer in existence furthermore um, if or when anybody want to have a function they have to apply to Richard Curry even during the COVID time it's a huge you know the people in a compound they have to pay up with 26,000 if they want to have what one would refer to in Jamaica as a cookout all right we are out of time also, Mr. Curry you have 30 seconds and then we're, we, we have to bring it to a close Mr. Curry those who do not know about an administration and understand it will also fall short of many other um, things we would have expected as leaders. Mr. 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 Ferran Williams, you have still not provided the people of the Maroon community with any answers for the one million US dollar that has been missing and siphoned from our account. You have not brought to the people how the world's most wanted man, Jan Marshallek, who siphoned 3.5 billion euros out of Wirecard, Germany, is a part owner in this bank. You have not validated for the people why you have now returned to try and claim a building that was designed yeah. and, 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 and broken for the community. And you have no right to demand anything of the people of a compound until you yourself, sir, provide clarity and responsibility and accountability for those said issues. I yield. Thank you. Chief Richard Curry there, as well as Farron Williams, as well as... Mr. Meredy Rowe. Well, I don't know. We have to leave it there. We're out of time. That's it for the morning session. The World at Noon is next.